Lebanon's first Oscar-nominated movie, and a Chilean picture with a transgender actor, are among five finalists for Best Foreign Language Film at the 2018 Academy Awards. The winner will receive an Academy Award, also called an Oscar. The 90th Academy Awards ceremony takes place on March 4th in Los Angeles, California. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences presents the Best Foreign Language Film Award to a movie recorded in a language other than English. All the films under consideration were produced in a country other than the United States. Lebanese director Ziad Duaidi's *The Insult* is competing against four other films, including Chilean filmmaker Sebastian Lelio's *A Fantastic Woman*. The other finalists are *The Square* by Swedish director Ruben Ostlund, Russian filmmaker Andrei Zvigintsev's *Loveless*, and *On Body and Soul* by Hungarian director Ildiko Anyedi. A fantastic woman tells about a transgender woman who is rejected by her partner's family after his death. Critics have praised the movie as a major turning point in how transgender people are represented in film. However, the director says he did not set out to make history. Lelio told the Associated Press that he was surprised how timely the film seems. He noted. How the movie has made its way from the world of theatrical productions and into the cultural conversation. Lelio said he sees the film as a love story that happens to happen to a transgender woman. For me, it has always been a film about the limits to our empathy. He said, about what we are willing to allow from others. Where we draw the line in terms of which people are legitimate, or which acts of love are legitimate or not. Paris-based Lebanese director Duaidi said the nomination for the insult was great news for us and for Lebanon. It's been a very, very long and difficult road to get where we are, he said. In the insult, an argument between a Lebanese Christian man. And a Palestinian refugee leads to a courtroom battle. The film shows examples of ongoing problems within Lebanese society. The film was first shown at the Venice Film Festival, where its Palestinian co-star Kamel El Basha won the Best Actor award. Duaidi was briefly detained when he returned to Lebanon because he had visited Israel. Where his movie *The Attack* was being filmed, Lebanon and Israel are in a state of war. Lebanon's government bars Lebanese citizens from visiting Israel or having business with Israelis. Making films means crossing borders," said Duaidi. "Nobody can tell a director where to film." The director added that he hoped the insult would show moviegoers a different side of the Middle East than violence and conflict. Yet, with these problems, there is hope of compromise," he said. The nominees for Best Foreign Language Film will come to the Oscars after winning awards at other film competitions. Loveless took the first place at the 2017 London Film Festival. Judges there praised Zvigintsev for turning the story of one family's problems into a universal tragedy. The Russian director said the Academy Award nomination means a lot to filmmakers, and helps them continue to tell the stories that move us in a way we want to tell them. Hungarian film *On Body and Soul* won the Golden Bear Award last year at the Berlin Film Festival. The film, a love story, takes place in a building where animals are killed for their meat. Director Anyedi said the movie tells about two normal people whose lives are brightened by the power of dreams. 
Anyedi is the only female director among the foreign language finalists. She said getting an Oscar nomination in a year where so many exceptional women are being honored for their work behind the camera humbles me. The Square is a story of a museum director whose well-organized life turns into crisis after a series of strange events. It won the Palme d'Or at the 2017 Cannes Film Festival. Ostland was very happy about the nomination of his film. I wanted to make an entertaining, wild, and funny movie at the same time, he told the AP from the Sundance Film Festival. I'm Phil Deerking.